We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. And you don't need to see that cup that's sitting right there. Sorry. There's been really, really heavy rain here for the past few days and this shed has been perfect for years. For years I've been in this shed doing this stuff uh, and I've never had one leak. Uh, but the past week it is just, that's why there's cups situated everywhere catching drips that are coming through the roof. <laughs> it's God. So I'm either going to have to paint the roof um, or, or just get it refelted. We'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But anyway, how are you? Um, what am I going to tell you? This will be a quick one. This will be a quick... There's the kiss of death. The quick ones usually go on for ages. But I really want to keep this one quick. Uh, today, today I'm vaping away on this. This beastie here. Which I've completely forgotten what it's called. Why is that? Why does that never come as a shock? That I always forget what stuff is called. I've got a, a box for it somewhere. I can't remember. Is it written on it? Uh, DP, DP, uh, D Design, D Design, the LE. I think it is. Uh, this is a twenty seven hundred or eighteen six fifty eight mod. Uh, little stab wood tube going on there. Stab wood buttons, and I think it's a Delrin body. I've shown you this off already, and. It's very basic, the board is very, very basic, uh, but it's extremely comfortable to vape with. I've, I've no real, I've not tried out temp control on it. Uh, I've been mostly, I've just stuck with variable wattage. Uh, I will get round to doing a proper look at this before long, but but yeah, I've just been, I just, it's, it's a good daily kind of carry kind of mod just because it's so comfortable or so comfy as we say here. Uh, on top I have my Skyline. Um, this is my most used RTA. This what this one here. Uh, this has seen more action than any other RTA I own. Um, love it to bits. Uh, there will also be, oh coming very very soon, uh, there is a DLC um, black black version, DLC um, version of the Skyline coming. There is also a DLC version of the Skyfall coming as well. There's only going to be a hundred of each one. If you're not in the Facebook group already, and I know it's not for everybody, and not everybody doesn't like doing Facebook, but if you want one, if you want your, to try your hand at getting one, uh, then that is the only way you're going to get one or second hand down the line. Uh, but uh, yes, and, and, and I, I need a quick vape, so excuse me. I do vape, my, 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 my vaping habits have changed since I first got this. I used to always be restricted direct along with it, uh, but now I have no inserts in it or, or, or anything. It's just fully open fully open for this uh, but yes do love it um, other things that I can show you uh, here's a story here's a story this isn't drama I I want to make this clear this isn't drama I'm actually clarifying for any mod maker anybody out there uh, that ever thinks about sending something on to me uh, this is how it works this is how it works pretty much. Um, on my web page I have a review request section and it details exactly what my terms and conditions are. My terms and conditions basically are when you send me something, uh, if you want it reviewed you send it on, you include uh, a bit of paper uh, or you send an email and you answer specific questions. These are the questions that I will then pass on to you during a review. Where can you buy it? much does it cost? How is it made? What's the unique selling points? All that kind of good stuff that you want in a review. The amount of reviewers that don't give me that information is insane. But uh, yes, so that's what I ask for. I also specify that once you send something to me, it's mine and I can do what I want with it. Uh, you will get a review. That's one thing. You will get a review. If I have any issues, uh, then I will contact you in the first instance. But that's only if I think there's a manufacturing error with it or a, or a serious flaw. 
If it's just I don't like the design, I don't like the way it performs or anything like that, then I tend to not contact the mod maker or the manufacturer because that's, yeah, that's just personal opinion. Um, unless it's really bad, unless it's really bad. Um, for example, there was one Atty that I just put back in the box. I sent an email to the mod maker and I said, thank you so, so much for giving me this, but it just doesn't work for me. Uh, it's just not performing the way I expected it to perform. And I apologized and said, yeah, I'll show off in a vlog, but that's going to be it. Which is just as well I did because they came back and said, you should be vaping it like this. This is how it's been designed. This is what the kind of build it was designed for. And I got it totally wrong. Uh, and I ended up following their instructions. And it turns out that the flavor was great from it. So contacting the mod maker is always the, yeah. I'm not right. I'm very rarely right. Uh, so getting feedback from the person that designed and made the device it's always a good thing to do rather than shouting the odds and drama and bullshit on on youtube just uh, drama for views uh, rather than looking like a, a dick contact the mod maker speak to them and get the proper information so that happens uh, but once again, once I have it, it's mine. It's mine to, to keep and do what I want with it. I may possibly sell it in my Facebook group, usually for 50% of RRP. I may give it away. I may sell it for charity. It may go in a charity raffle. But either way, it's mine. The one thing I am not, I'm not a promoter. Uh, I, if you send me something... I'm going to say how I, what I think of it and how I feel about it. My opinion shall be shared. That could be positive or negative, but I am not going to advertise or promote and, and just make out that it's the best thing under the sun without giving my opinion. That's just not, I've never worked like that. In near eight years of doing this, I don't do that and it never ever will happen. You could not pay me enough money to to lie to my subscribers. That's just not, it's just not the way it works. Um, the other thing is that, and I'll make this clear, is that when something gets sent to me, I will unbox it on my Facebook page. So it arrives, I don't even open it. I do uh, have a, a private Facebook group. Uh, there's about 3000 people in it. And, and for shits and giggles, it's for a laugh. It's for a laugh. Uh, it's at my expense. What it is, is it's usually me stumbling with a device. I've never seen it. I've never read the instructions. I open it up for the first time and, and it's just my gut reaction. It's my initial impression of that. I clearly state at the start of this, I say to people, be aware, this is not a review. Not a review, it's never a review, it's just my initial impression. I could be wrong, I can get lots of stuff wrong, but it's just me opening a box for the first time. Uh, there is also live chat during this, so people that are in my group will give their first impressions and they'll say what they think. And they're entitled to their opinions, they can say what they like. As long as they're not abusive, then that's it. Um, most mod makers know this and, and most mod makers that are in my group are okay with it. They know that it works a certain way. Get the package, open up for the first time in my Facebook group, lots of fun, giggles, laughs at my expense and then I test it for a week, two weeks and then there is a proper review. That is the process. I received an atty uh, from, I'll tell you what, I'll show you the Atty first. I'll show you the Atty first now. So here you go. A quick look at the number one RDA, self-titled, by uh, Black Rose out of Malaysia. Uh, I'll show you what you get in the box. So first off, there are spares. We have a standard 510 pin. We have a squonking pin comes with it. And uh, yes, got all that. We have an Ultim reducer. So if you want to do just single coil only, you can. Or you can run dual coil without this. I got uh, four drip tips with mine, and I will say these drip tips, they're stunning. They, they, they really are stunning. 
Uh, it, it's beautifully finished. Uh, I can't take away from these at all. They're not 510 drip tips. This is not a 510 Atte, but these drip tips came with it and they're stunning, just gorgeous. This drip tip also came with it as well. Uh, and here we go. So we've got a 22 millimeter RDA on the base. We have uh, the Black Rose logo, I've got the signature and we have a serial number. You can see I've got a squonk pin in there just now, media blasted on the bottom. Uh, excuse me, I've just taken this out, the, <laughs> the Sonic Cleaner. So it's, it's a little bit wet here, but the finishing on it is sublime, 10 out of 10. Can't take that away from it. Uh, to adjust the airflow, you know, you just back off the top cap a little bit and you can spin this round and you can set your airflow, tighten her back off again, Oop, hold her in place and tighten her back off again and that's you. It is very old school in that respect, very old school. But uh, we'll take this off here and uh, you can see inside the top cap there's nothing, there's nothing domed or nothing new there at all. This is once again, it's very old school. And you have a, a three post atty, dual o-rings. The top caps held on very well. When you squonk, you can see the hole at the bottom of the center post. The juice is going to come out there. And uh, all this has been, you know, these have all been hand polished. 316 stainless steel, the entire atty. And obviously, once again, I've just washed this, but when it arrived, it was absolutely gleaming. And you can see the work that's gone into finishing this. Now, the way these trap, uh, if I undo this, hopefully you'll be able to see. Uh, when I, I lift that up, boom, yeah, there we go. Where are we? Yeah, you can see that it's actually, see how you've got your, your screw there, but you've got a guide slot there as well. So you can poke your wire in there. So if you are doing uh, dual coils, it's actually very, very easy to get dual coils in this. I didn't have any issues in that respect at all. Uh, the center one, once again, it's the same. Let's see if I can back this right off and pull that up. See how you've got the two guides now, so you can put one wire, one wire, you know, going opposite ways. And yeah, that's it. Now, it does say that this is uh, the very, very first enclosed uh, center pin. And yes, that, that, that's the, the claim that's made. It's the very, very first one. Um, obviously, it, it, it leads to, in his own words, it leads to yeah, a greater, there's less volt drop and so on. And so he's saying that it performs better because this is an enclosed center post. So that's it. That's an up close for the number one RDA. So there you go. That is the number one by Black Rose. Now, when I opened that in my Facebook group, my first impression, my initial reaction was, this is a three post atty that looks like it came from 2014. That that was my initial impression. And and I don't apologize for that in the slightest because that, that you, cause that's what I thought. So I'm going to speak my mind. Um, I put, my initial build in it. Now my initial build for anything and everything is I have a coil called the Benchmark Coil that is made by PC Coils. It's a 0 0.4 ohm simple round wire build. I threw a single coil in it, I vaped with it and, and it wasn't the best. After I put in two dual fuse Clapton's at 0 0.2 ohm and the flavour from it was tremendous. It was really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Great vape. Um, but the problem was that uh, there were people in my Facebook group that were members of the Black Rose group who weren't happy that I said it just looked like a three post atty, went back to the other group. The mod maker then came into my group. He kicked off drama, 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 bullshit, 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 and that's it. I will not be reviewing this atty. He can take it back anytime he likes because I am not here to advertise anybody's product. I am here to give an honest review. And no disrespect to the guy that makes this act, no disrespect at all, but uh, I don't do drama and I'm not going to advertise anything for anybody. And if I think something about your atty or your mod, then I shall voice my opinion. That's why you send gear to reviewers. You don't send something to a reviewer so they can just blow smoke up your ass. That's not how it works. You send something to a reviewer and they're going to review it and give an honest opinion. If you have a reviewer on your books that uh, will just 
promote stuff for you, then good for you. If you've used reviewers in the past that all they do is promote stuff and they don't actually say what's wrong with it or give their opinion, then good for you. But it's not how I work. There was a point to all that. I can't remember what it was. But the short and sweet version is I'll not kiss anybody's ass. I don't care. Uh, this atty costs $300 with shipping, fees, everything. It probably works out about $400 to your door. I, I'm not going to sell it for anybody. Uh, I'm not selling it for anybody. And it made me so, so angry. Very angry boy at the time. But I'm very happy now. Uh, I need another vape. I don't actually have anything else set up. All I've got is this set up. How bad? That's not bad. It's, they all do the same job. There we go. Right, uh, next. So we've done the, the number one RDA. Uh, I bought myself something. I, I picked up something second hand. This. Yeah, I've, I've always had that. I can't remember if I had a Danny box before. Was it? They had a, a number six and a number nine. I can't remember. Uh, and, and I had one of them back in the day. But I ended up getting, you know, so this is just a single 18650 Danny box. Um, die codes board and, and, and it comes in this lovely pipeline case and I'm really enjoying using it. I'm really enjoying using it. I think it looks so much classier with this sleeve on it but uh, I'm really glad I picked it up and I am enjoying using it. It's it's maybe not something I'll keep long term but um, and I do wish the case just you know was a tight fit like that. Uh, also, uh, changing the battery out is a pain in the backside because you have to take the mod out every single time. Uh, but uh, it, it's, yeah, it, it's a Danny box. So many people have got these. But uh, yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying using this. It's really good. It's really good. If, 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 I mean, it's there's the, there's the mini box as well. There's a smaller version. I'm sure there's a smaller version of this. Um, I, I, I'm kind of tempted to, to just punt this on and pick up the smaller one. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm not going to review it, but um, they're, they're just really hardy little workhorses. And uh, yeah, they work well. Uh, another thing that came along my way is, is, is this. Oh my. This is one that uh, gives me oh, great joy showing this off. It really does. Uh, this is from Aidan at Tippy Mods over in Ireland. And I've been using this over the weekend. It arrived on Friday, I think it was. And I'm not going to go into great detail on the spec and everything just now. Uh, that mark there, you can see that script. That's actually in the wood. That's part of the block. So it's it's not a, a defect or anything. But it's got a Damascus tube. It's a piano finish. It's got horn beam buttons on it. And DNA 75C. Mod Dog Tube, uh, Mod Dog, um, did I say Mod Dog Tube? Yeah, Mod Dog down here, and uh, Mod Dog 510 up the top. This I will be doing a full review for. Uh, I'm, I, I consider myself very, very lucky getting to show this off. Uh, obviously it has a CA finish on it as well, but uh, you can just, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's, I've got one of his squonkers. I did a review for one of his squonkers <gasps> so a couple of years back, a year ago. It, it was just after the last vape fest anyway. Uh, and and he's come a long, long way. And yes, there will be a full review for this. Love it. Uh, the actual front plate here is held on by magnets. It's not glued in place. Uh, but yes, I, I'll, I'll stop gushing just now and I'll gush even more when it comes to the review. Now, as I was saying earlier on, um, you send me something to review and I'll give my honest opinion. Now, the guy that makes this is called Aiden. Um, love him to bits. He's, he's, he's generally such a nice guy. Um, but he knows that I will give my honest opinion. And there's a couple of tiny, tiny little things that, yeah, will be you know you have your pros and your cons categories in a review I'll list them under cons very subjective cons but th there'll be cons nonetheless and, and and he'll probably think that I'm just some fat git in a shed bumping my gums uh, but he's not going to throw his toys out the pram 
because he knows that it's just my opinion at the end of the day. And and being completely honest, this is gorgeous. This is really nice. He's come such a long... I don't think I mentioned in the close-up bit, he, he did make the squonkers, the little box squonkers, that were beautifully finished. Um, and the, the market kind of changed a little bit. And he jacked it in. He stopped making mods. Uh, but he's come back with this, the Vela, and, and he's done a, a, a massive two thumbs up to what he's doing with that. He really has done an amazing job. Uh, now, what else have I got for you? I have, I have here, where have they gone? We have a bridge in here to show you. And we also have a little RDTA. Now I did get uh, the Karma guys sent on the Karma Gen. It's not the Karma Gen. This is an RDTA. Uh, I've been. I've not used it that much yet. I've not used it that much yet. I just put in. Uh, can I actually show you? This is the the build that I'm running in here just now. This is. It's got inserts that you can put in, and um, the the air comes underneath the coil. This little bit here is what you grab if you want to fill it. But I'm squonking with it. You can do both. And uh, I'm going to say it's it's quite a simplistic little device, this, but it works well. It's got cracking flavour from it. It really has. Uh, they've done not a bad job in this. Uh, it's Yes, from the Karma guys, but a, a review will be coming for that. They've also done a, a bridge for uh, a bottle tank or a billet box or, or a Delro or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but uh, yeah, they've also done a bridge and obviously this is the mission, uh, you know, it's the mission team that do these things, the Karma products. Um, so I've been vaping away with this since it arrived and this is a, a Dicodes, uh, a Dicodes Delro. And I've not had any issue. I'm running it fully open just now. It's no fully open. It's nowhere near as, there's not nearly as much air goes through it as goes through say a Zeta. It's got a bit more of a restriction to it, but the flavor isn't half bad and, and it's been performing well. And it, it does take all the juice out of the tank. Uh, so I, I've, I've not had, so far, I've not had any issues with this little bridge at all. But uh, yeah, once again, there'll be a full review coming. As I was saying in the close-ups, the actual, um, the bridge fully open. Uh, I'll take the door off on my Delro just so I'm getting all the air I can. It's a restricted direct lung. Uh, I get a lot more air through my Zeta if I want to, but it's Quite a flavoursome little thing. That's a uh, lemon crack from uh, Mr. White that I'm vaping away with there, which is a beautiful juice. And uh, once again on my Delro. I do love my Delro. Uh, I shall also mention, we are in my Facebook group, we have been doing, we did a poll. It was just for, once again, for shits and giggles. It was nothing serious. Uh, and uh, we're re everybody voted for what they wanted, favourite gear this year it didn't even have to be made this year it, it just what they've used this year the most of what they consider their favorite this year so far um i think i think i think i think the number one rta was the integra uh the number one rdta was riviera the riviera and the number one RDA was the Skyfall. Now that's just voted for by the people in my group. Um, and the other results, I'm still putting them together. Um, but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's strange because you, you go to, you know, you take one group of vapors. If you were to go into a vape shop, for example, where it's going to be a lot more mainstream stuff, you know, the, the, the results would be so, so different. Um, the people in my Facebook group, there's there's a mix, you know, uh, of, of a lot of people. Uh, I mean, some of the results were for more mainstream stuff, uh, but, you know, the most votes I've just named who won. Uh, but, you know, there was lots of stuff named. Uh, but it, it's strange, you know, you, you just, you ask different people, you're going to get different answers. But that's just the, the results that I had in my little Facebook group. Um, other things I have to mention, Armour Mods. 
this one um excuse the mess of it but i've been vaping away with it this is one that i will be doing it's a prototype it's a working prototype it's, it's very close to the the retail version that will be coming soon this is this is a late entry for me for possibly the most I find this to be the most interesting RDA this year. This is the one that I am enjoying or has caught me off guard the most. Uh, I'm really sorry it's covered in e-liquid and everything. What a terrible presentation. But it will get washed, stripped down and a proper review will be done. Uh, but this is from Armour Mods. It's the engine. I've got dog hair on it. But I love what he's done. There, are, There's inserts. Uh, when you buy it, it is a direct lung that you get but you get inserts that will take it to your restricted direct lung or mouth to lung and I think he's done a really really nice job in this I'll do this video before Christmas and just to let you see what's coming but this is definitely one to look out for it's a really nice 22mm squonking dripping um, RDA I'm actually on the uh, a top side here top side light is it I think if I remember right uh, absolutely hideous to look at but um, I actually really enjoy using this mod. Uh, squonks well, hasn't leaked. It's given me no issues whatsoever. Uh, but so we've got a little 22 mil engine on top of there by Armour. Uh, I'm at 23 watts and... That's it fully open. God, I love the flavor from it and and I've not show, I never showed you the deck or the inserts or anything like that, but I actually have an Armour V1 um, and, and Darren sent on the Armour S as well. Um, I'm a fan of the original Armour, I really like it, but but how can I say this? Oh, I've got kind of jaded over the year. Um, there's been quite a few good atties, but a, a lot of them have followed the same formula for for everything else we've had for the past couple of years you know it's been the same kind of design um this 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 is whilst it, it, its core it is something we've seen before the, the the other ingredients that have gone into making this rda kind of just make it that little bit better as far as I'm concerned and I hope it's <laughs> so is the thing I'm saying this I'm going oh it's really good uh, and, and I'm really hoping that when it comes out when it gets in in other people's hands that they say the same thing there's nothing worse than having a prototype for something and going it's, it's bra it's excellent and then when it gets to other people they go nah it's shit um, and you just look like a complete asshole uh, but yes I think that's about it. The only thing I've got left to show you is where's he gone? Where's he gone? He's here. Is it the Strybok? This one here is called the Strybok. Uh, is it Norsium Noricum Mods uh, out of Slovenia? Uh, it's actually on the bottom. It does say where it comes from. There. Uh, it's also got a special serial number for me, which is one pound twenty-three, because that's how much it costs to become a Patreon for my chat. And no, I'm only joking. Well, it is a joke, but uh, there we go. This is a new company that's on the go. This is made by Tad, and uh, this is this has a really nice vape from it. It's uh, there'll be a review coming very very soon. I'm not going to give away much detail on it. Uh, it does draw inspiration from the the Jazz by Van and Dell. You'll see that in the deck, and the look kind of it. He does say it's very reminiscent of uh, an Eden Mods product. But I like the way, you know, the drip tip has the same shape as the Atty. Uh, I think the final one, the, the top cap's getting changed a little bit. It's going to be a bit more polished. And uh, we're getting a chamfer around the edge here. But uh, I, so far I am enjoying the flavour from this. And I like, it's kind of got an old school look to it. But it's a really nice vape. Um, go check out the Facebook group. Once again, it's a new company, and uh, yes, I'll, there'll be a review for this also very soon. We'll just have a sneaky little vape. Which is very nice. It's, um, isn't it direct lung? 
it's got a hint of a restriction to it but you can close it down to a restricted direct lung um, I don't think much is I'm waiting on a new top cap arriving for it he's changed the it's going to be more polished with a chamfer in the inside cap just so it's easier to go on and off so there'll be a couple of little changes I'm sure I put a link up for the Facebook group or a description so you can go and check it out if you're interested uh, there will be a full review coming uh, and that's it I've nothing else for you Hopefully this stayed under 30 minutes. I should really stop now. Is there anything else? I suppose I could bore you with what we've been watching. Uh, we did binge uh, The Expanse Season 4 over the weekend. I really wanted to like it. Oh God, I so wanted to like it. But it just, the, the payoff at the end of the 10 episodes, it just wasn't there. It just wasn't there for me. Um... It's almost it's it's sci-fi and but I remember that it's just it's become more like a political drama than a sci-fi program for me. It's losing more and more of the sci-fi element, which which is disappointing because I'm a geek in my heart. Um, we also watched uh, Six Underground um, and we lasted 16 minutes. 16 minutes. It's the new Michael Bay film, and it's the most Michael Bay. Michael Bay film I've ever watched. It's terrible. You would have to be so drunk to enjoy it. You really should. I, I strongly recommend that you just get pushed before you watch it. It's just so bad. There was in the first sixteen minutes there was a, a this chase through Florence in a car. I think it was shooting, blowing up. Great fun. Uh, but the guy driving the car, baseball cap on go to an outside shot, come back in, baseball cap's missing. And this happened a few times and you're like, this film must have cost so much money. Explosions everywhere. And and they can't even, the continuity was terrible. This is me, this is me that sits in a shed with a crappy old camcorder, terrible lighting, uh, having a go at Michael Bay for his latest creation. <laughs> There is irony in that somewhere. I don't know where. Um, I'll also, and I'll, God, I I'm, I'm don't want to, I'll say this again, but the Black Rose, if the guy hadn't kicked off and I'd reviewed this, and I showed you up close, this would be my takeaway from it because I've had a couple of builds in it. Um, I don't care how much he prices it for. I never get into pricing and in reviews. Uh, obviously, once this gets to your door, with it's three hundred dollars, but with them um, import fees, PayPal fees, postage fees, you, you'll be looking not far off four hundred dollars. It'll probably work out somewhere near that. That's a lot of money in anybody's book. Um, now, my takeaway from it would be, I don't see me personally that it's a three-post design. Now, I know that he's saying it's the first non-exposed pole. Um, it, it, it's, I don't see that it warrants the design. I don't see that it's bringing anything new to the table. It's beautifully made. It looks very, very pretty. The drip tips are gorgeous. And the finishing inside, the hand polishing and all that, I can see that and I can admire that and respect it and I can see that this will appeal to a certain segment and his Facebook group, they'll love this uh, and I'm enjoying vaping with it but f my big problem with it is nothing to do with mod makers kicking off drama, all this kind of bullshit is, is that it's 2019 and it's not for me really bringing anything new to the table and that's my issue with this RDA nothing else the fact that it's a three post and so on you know I loved three post atties um, and using this one just goes to show how good a vape you can have from a three post atty and some people still use that design but my opinion is that it's not bringing anything new to the table and, and that would have been my takeaway. No matter how much I like it, how pretty it is, it's not bringing anything new to the table. And for that price, that there has to be something new in the mix. There has to be. I wish them all the best with it. I really do wish them all the best with it. And uh, But like I say, there, there's a, a certain segment his audience will 
lap this up and yeah good luck to him good luck to him seriously um that's me i'm going uh there will be more reviews before crimbo christmas happy christmas day whatever you call it uh and i'm going to try and take some time off between christmas and new year i will do a video which will be my not my favorite rdas I don't do top fives, I don't do top anythings uh, to be regarding vaping. I, I don't like doing that um, because my take on reviewing and my take on what gear I like is very different to, and, and I'm not um, ridiculing or bad mouthing the way that other reviewers do what they do at this time of year with their top five, top ten lists. Um, that's the way they do things. That's the way nearly everybody does it. Uh, but for me, I don't keep any. I, I keep hardly anything. I couldn't do a top five list for 2019 for RDAs because I think I kept one out of, oh God, however many I did, a lot. I think I've kept one, maybe two, and that's it. Uh, so I can't do a top five. Uh, what I normally do at this time of year is I'll let you know what I've kept out of the year um, and and that'll be it. That'll be it. Uh, I think it pisses some people off that I don't do top fives. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, I'm going. I have to go and start looking at gifts for my wife's Christmas. <gasps> have a good one. And we'll show next review will be in the next couple of days. Anyway, bye for now.